All right, we have a couple things that just arrived. Now one thing is probably a video card, and the other is probably a sound card. Let's take a look. Opening up the cardboard one first. What's inside? One-handed unboxings, awesome. All right, that's that. Just some paper in there. Toss it aside. And we see more things that we need to untape. All right, got that. What's inside? Uh, I see what it is. This is the sound card. Sound Blaster, Creative. Yep, this is going to go into Supremacy to hopefully fix the microphone issue I was having with literally any non-USB headset. So yep, I'm going to set this aside and open up the other package. Alright, I've gone ahead and torn open the side here. Let's see if I can get it out. Nope. Not usually. Hmm. Alright, I got it out, and of course it's taped to oblivion, so... Yep, more cutting. Alright, I finally got it untaped here. Inside. Oh no, it was like even more tape. Not too much. Actually, it's only one thing here. But of course, one-handed unboxing. Uh, can I get it? Yeah, I got it. I can I can be good sometimes. Sometimes. Oh yeah, it's all over the back too. More cutting. Alright. It's finally ready to come on out. Let's see if I can just slide it out easily because one hand. Close enough, I can reach it now. Come on, get away. There we are. Okay. So now, we finally see the video card. I have no idea uh, what brand this is. HP. Okay. This is an HP card. It's already got the X bracket. So this is a Quadro FX 3700M. Uh, this is going to go into the M17X. Now normally this shouldn't be compatible because this is based on a GTX 280M core. And that's the main reason why I got it. Because a 280M is way better than a 9800M. So I'm trying to see if I can somehow use this to both play games and render videos because for Adobe you need at least one gigabyte of video memory and this just so happens to have one gigabyte. And it's also a 280M beneath the Quadro name so hopefully it should lead to some better frames in games like Left 4 Dead 2, The Forest, and other newer games. Because the 512 meg uh, and the 800M, it is pretty powerful for what it is, but it lacks the memory capacity. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can steal some thermal pads and stuff from another cooler, video card cooler. And I'll get back to you when it's installed. But first, let's go ahead and install the new sound card and test that out, since that's going to be... What I mainly use. That's my blade. So I guess that means we're going to shut this down. Unplug all the things here. And another thing I'm going to do while the system is uh, unplugged and stuff. Is I'm going to put this in there. What this is, is a USB to header adapter. It came with some case or some motherboard, I believe. And I just remembered now that I had it. Sorry for all the crinkling.
so much crinkling. Come on. There we go. So you can see. Now what I'm going to do with this is that the card reader has never been uh, plugged in on this machine. But now I'll be able to. The card reader uses a USB header. And then I will also I go ahead and install this WD500 gigabyte drive back in. It used to be in there, but then I thought it died, so I took it out. But then, but then when I plugged in the, I don't know if you can see it. Nope, definitely can't see it. The five, no, not five, the three terabyte drive in its place, I found that it was also saying that that failed. So I found out that the cable itself was bad, so that means that this is still good. I even tested it on an external uh, adapter here that I stole from a WD thing before. And it worked fine, so... I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Actually, never mind. I'm not going to install this yet because there's stuff on it I need to transfer over onto the M17. And I need to save it because I'm gonna transfer everything on the hard drive here right now over to an SSD when that get, gets arrived or gets over here. So, uh, I'll only be installing the sound card. The D7 computer, by the way, is still a work in progress, so uh, I plan on buying a new actually working video card because I ordered this one, but it's apparently bad. Yeah, no display I put on it. So let's open this up and put in that sound card. All right, sound card is installed. It's right in between the two Hall of Fame cards. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and put the SLI bridge right back on. I probably should, definitely could, uh, shorten the gap between them. But, you know, airflow, it's a thing. The bottom card doesn't get too hot, actually, even with it right up against the power supply. But then again, it is getting fresh air from all those fans there. Also, cable management, it is not pretty. I guess it works, so who cares? All right, now it's time for this thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get this. Here's a way, but that's not gonna be too pretty to look at. Hmm, maybe what I can, no, that's stupid, okay. Uh, there's enough room, what I'll do is I'll route it from the front, like through this gap here, and then here. So let me, will this even reach from the motherboard? Quick guess is no. There's not nearly enough room. So I'm going to need some kind of extension too. Hmm. I'll see what I can find. I could not find an extension right away. So I'm just going to, i leave the system as it is, not bring the, the cable around. And yeah, I'm just gonna close this back up and we will begin working on the M17. Okay, the sound card is in there. I've already installed the drivers and tested it on the new headset and it works really good. So that's that done. Now it's only time for the video card. Step one, get a cooler. I'll be right back, I will find one. All right, these are the 8600 cards that I uh, had in Project Orion. Uh, they're dusty, they need to be cleaned out. And I'm gonna take both of these apart and use their thermal pads because I know one of them has a couple bad ones and the other one might have a couple bad ones as well, but uh, all together it should have a fully working unit, or fully cooled unit. So yeah, let's get these taken apart. All right, there they are. Let's get these heat shields off. I believe the one on the right is the one I replaced before. Yep. You can see the new thermal paste there I put on it. Left one, that's still locked and sealed. So let me separate that. All right, and there should be separated. There we are in those heat pads are way worse. Looks like only one of them actually survived. One there. I'm gonna get 
these cards out of the way. And which one will I use? Looks like this one's already kind of good to go, actually. I think I'll replace that pad with this one here. That's complete. And then I'll just get to cleaning it up. And I'm going to have to remove this bracket at the back. And yeah, we'll be ready to go on. It's already nice and clean, actually. I will give it a quick run over with the alcohol and clean off that paste there with alcohol and put it on. See if it'll be automatically recognized and install the driver onto the M17. If yeah, and it works, I will go ahead and swap the 9800 and the Quadro's places so that the Quadro is the main card and the 9800 is the secondary card and we'll see how that works. What I'll do is I'll lift the keyboard up so I can see if the fans uh, spin at all because I know that's a, an issue with doing this here. So yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and swap the pads around and we'll get right to it. All right, new thermal pad is in place, or not new, but you know, less damaged thermal pad is in place. I'm gonna get rid of that heat uh, spread there, put on a new one, and also rinse off the card as well. So I'll get right to it. All right, both the card and the cooler have been cleaned off as best as I can. There's some thermal grease still there, but it's kind of in between uh, pins or something, so I'm not going to bother too much about that. And one thing I probably could do is clean off the memory cards. I'll do that right now. I just realized that every single one of the other cards I have has four memory chips. This one, however, has eight. So I will need um, more uh, things here. What I'll do is take all the good ones from here, place them on here, and I guess just wait until uh, the other... I have more of these, or a big, huge 100 by 100 pad of those, so what I'll do... I guess just wait until that arrives, so yeah. Uh, I'm getting low on phone space, so we will continue this when those arrive. So if you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course subscribe for more. Thanks, Game Boy, I will see you in the future.